So stupid, these people. So stupid, these natives. Two days of dancing and nothing come. They're calling their god. They're devil. Such things don't always appear on demand, Mano. The devil. The stupid devil. The side. Still says no, no. Tell him we have a, an arrangement with our chief. <laughs> Speak up, please. Port Moresby. Could you tell me what the emergency is, please? He's sleeping. All right, one moment. Mm. 
It's all right. I'm... I'm awake. I'll take it now. It's a man named Mendez in Port Moresby. He says it's imperative. I think he's been drinking, Jason. Mendez, this is Jason Kincaid. Have you got it? Yes, Mr. Kincaid, I've got it. Where is it now? I don't think you know very much about this animal, Mr. Kincaid, because if you did, you wouldn't want me to send it to the States. Of course I know. What the hell are you talking about? It's big. Very big. And it moves quickly. Very quickly. Men have had the flesh ripped off their bodies. Never have I seen anything like this before. I believe these legends are true. That is supernatural garbage. I think I should do us both a favor and kill this creature right now. No! No, don't do that. Don't. You take care of it and put it on the ship as arranged, all right? I would have killed her on the island had I been able to. You... You don't kill things that are one of a kind. You put it on the ship. I'm cabling you exact instructions along with a bonus for your troubles. I think you'll be very sorry, Mr. Kincaid. I am aware of all the local legends. You just put it on the boat. All right. Thank you. I'll need an international draft for $11,000. You're bringing it here. Here, Jason? Home? I have waited for seven years for this. And I cannot, and I will not let it continue. Isn't it better to continue This like is this? not a question of choice, Suzanne. No choice. Four, that's a damn good bet. Oh, no. There he is. Jarvis? I, I can see it. A couple more months with her, I really could have gotten something. It's New York. All melting. It looks, it looks like an You can't to lunch? Cat. Sorry, I can't. Oh, but well, I'll walk you know. out. Okay. She sees 10 million people incinerated. She doesn't even skip a heartbeat. Today, no recognition one. tomorrow. I mean, what does it matter if you have to go through life smelling like a bed? Oh, that sounds just a tad bitter, Tom. No, I'm just tired. I'm tired of talking to committees. I'm tired of begging for money. And I'm getting real bored packing up my research again. This is not news. Well, what the hell? I don't like sticking around in one place too long anyway. Don't know where I'm going next, though. No word yet? Nah. Good morning. Dean? Good morning. Um, Maybe you just packed up some of your research. Fart. Who's your lunch? Jason Kincaid. Very funny. Dr. Brazilian? Yes. Mr. Kincaid said me. Oh. <laughs> Try to keep it quiet, Claire. I'll be in Acapulco if you need me. Try not to drown now.
Brazilian? Yes. Jason Kincaid. Glad you could come up. Well, it's been very pleasant so far. Just needed some adjustments to the valves, that's all. She certainly rides well. Yes, Suzanne's multi-talented. I prefer mechanical horsepower myself. This way. Dr. Brazilian, I'd like to introduce you to my niece, uh, Suzanne Kincaid. Hello. Hi. What's your specialty, doctor? Well, psychiatry. Uh, but right now I'm doing research on extrasensory perception. Oh. Are you here on business or pleasure? Well, I don't really know. Um, I think we'd better get washed now, don't you? It will only take me a couple of minutes. There are a lot of uh, very pretty places in the garden, if you care to look at them. Uh, Suzanne. It was nice to meet you, doctor. I'm afraid it's not really a proper lunch. You see, we don't we keep a full staff at the summer place. I called you here, Doctor, because your theory seems to be the only one to account for my predicament. Of course, I have your assurance that whatever takes place after this is in the strictest confidence. Of course. As I told you, I was injured while I was hunting. The fellow that I was with was killed. The animal that killed him also wounded me. I should have died immediately. I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. You see, I'm talking about an extremely poisonous reptile. A snake. Its venom is of incredible potency. Everyone's different. You must have an enormous genetic immunity. Yes, so I'm told. But I'm still left with this, this, this lingering connection. With the animal. Yes. You understand, a psychiatrist would explain this without resorting to extrasensory phenomena. Would and have, believe me, Doctor. Well, uh, how does it happen? Nightmares. Nightmares, mostly. But more recently, I've been experiencing what I could only believe to be telepathic perception. Telepathic perceptions. I thought you'd find that interesting. Well, it's the most. Yeah, but you don't believe that it's beyond the realm of possibility, do you? I, I don't know. I mean, my work is still largely theoretical. But if I'm correct, and the brain proteins involved in telepathy are produced by virus, well, there's clearly no reason why the snake couldn't be carrying that virus and have transmitted it to you when you were attacked. Yes, I see. But the venom, it, it, it had no effect on me. How do you know? I mean, your particular genetic structure could make you susceptible to a, its viral telepathy. The snake arrives in two weeks, Doctor. The same animal? I'm not sure. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's one of a type. I'm, I'm not sure. That's why I want to study it. You've got to understand my position, Doctor. You see, my family, my family conglomerate is a major international concern. It employs well over 100,000 people. It would be a disaster for them and, and for me if this was to get out. Yes, of course. I propose underwriting your research in order that you can continue. Of course, I'd like you to concentrate on me. Is that strange? <laughs> You see, I don't really relish these experiences. Yes, I'm not surprised. I anticipate building and equipping a laboratory here, whatever's necessary. Well, my work, um, it requires a lot of machinery, equipment, you know. Yes, but uh, machinery is no problem. It's secrecy. It's secrecy that counts. It will have to be imported in your name as a university research project. And then house somewhere safe so that uh, it'll be looked after until the laboratory here is finished. Mm. Does that sound like a good idea? Well, 
Then we have a deal, Doctor. Yes, all sorts of strange deposits, you know. Little things that didn't matter too much. Well, I'll call you later then, Doctor, eh? Okay. You know I've got a funny feeling this is going to work out very well for both of us. Goodbye. Take care. Yes, I will. That's it, matey. That's a box. All you want is I should watch it. That's right. Then you could help me get it out of the dark, stateside. side. That's all. Something should happen to it like it gets unloaded before then. Call this number here. Let them know right away. What's it all about, Crowley? What you got in the box? You just watch it, matey. Just watch it. <laughs> I'll double this when I see a state side. See you then, amigo. You'd better be there, matey. Let's go, let's go, wake up, come on! Is it, what is it that I ask? What is it that we demand of each other? They are one and the same. To worship the Lord in the way of the Lord. To triumph with the Lord over transgression. Messenger, take up the gift of the Lord.
In two weeks, you say, Mr. Crowley? Yes, Reverend, yeah. Yeah, a container is gonna arrive here on the 13th. Considering your beliefs, I figured the 13th was a neat coincidence. <laughs> we sent you after the devil, Mr. Crowley. I'm sorry, Reverend, I, uh, you know, flight back was uh, rough. Anyway, King Kincaid uh, consigned the crate to, uh, it, I mean, it uh, consigned it to the uh, lab at the university. The proper province of the church is often invaded by the university. Well, it could be that uh, Kincaid's shipment won't ever make it to the university. I think uh, it will please you to know, Reverend, that uh, through my contacts in New Guinea, I managed to place an agent on the ship. That's no more than you promised when we employed you. you what, what I'm saying is that uh, we might be able to snatch the shipment before it even leaves the pier. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you know, that's what I meant. I hope so, Mr. Crowley. Deacon Tyrone will be at your side. Well, it's a, it's a dangerous job, a dangerous operation, Reverend. I, I, I gotta have my own man, you, you understand. Deacon is experienced in the ways of the serpent. The, the problem is the goddamn, it, it's, it's, it's not the serpent, Reverend, you see. Guy's gotta know how, how to, uh, you know, conduct a surveillance and how to, how to tailor guy. It's, you, you need inexperience. You have been very helpful, Mr. Crowley, and your continue to serve. But this struggle is our own. Look, Reverend, I told you I was going to deliver the thing. I'm going to deliver the thing. Like I said, I, you, you shouldn't have to involve yourself personally. The serpent of Naraka Pinto guards the gates of hell. It's singular, unique, the living creation, the incarnation of our master. You are an unbeliever, Mr. Crowley, which is why perhaps you sound like such a fool. Know this. We will do whatever must be done. Whatever the cost, we shall have the great serpent. Well, we're all set, then. You know for sure it's heroin in the box? Well, what the hell? What the hell else would it be? Bananas? Crowley's a stinking spook. He worked for the CIA. Right. I think I'll just pass on this one. Just means more money for me, amigo.
a ship to top. Why got his fields, Captain? Uh, the new pavilion, will it... Uh... Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, everybody. It, 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 it's... Is he ill, my dear? He just needs some air. Jason? understand what you hope to gain by this. I don't see how you can shake this thing by bringing it home. It's the only way. Bullshit! Will you try and listen to what I try to say? This, this thing is here. It's here already. I mean, I could walk into his office and say, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Freud, you are right. This is a hysterical projection. Crazy. I hallucinate. So, just send me away. But that is, that is bullshit, you understand? That is bullshit! Because I feel it here! I feel it down inside within me! I feel it! But Jason, what do you feel? I just, I saw a man die. But I, I didn't. I, I felt him die. And I, I felt responsible. So, so that is why, no, no matter how I do it, I have got to rid myself of this. No, no matter what means I have at my disposal, I've got to rid myself.
I don't want to lose you to this thing, Jason. I was 16 when it killed my father. I don't want it to kill you, too. Suzanne, I... Please. The closer it gets, the worse you get. If you have to do this, at least wait until you're equipped to have a decent chance. Suzanne, you are becoming hysterical. No. Now, you listen to me. When father died, you took me in. I didn't ask to come live with you. You brought me here. So you have a responsibility. And part of that responsibility is not getting yourself killed the way that he did. If not for yourself, for me. Kiss me goodnight. Kiss me. Promise me, Jason. You won't go anywhere near it till Dr. Brazilian has everything ready. Promise me. I bet it did. Oh, and my name is Thomas. What are you doing here? I didn't expect anybody else. I wanted to see your snake, Thomas. Ah, uh -huh, the psychiatric jackpot. Hmm. <whistles> uh, this is a live animal. I can see that. Clear through endangered species. Mm hmm. Health quarantine? Right here. Well, what sort of animal is it? It's good, a lot of scunny. Large, poisonous snake. Admit it. Devil, Deacon. Looks like I have to snatch it at the university. Wait a minute, Crowley. What about your agent on the ship? This is fired. Reverend's not gonna like this, Crowley. Here, I'll get some maintenance men. It's just exactly where I thought they were going to put it. 
Got no alarms on the windows around there. Remember, the temperature's the thing, right? Under 60, over 115, and all you've got is cooked meat. Otherwise, it's low maintenance. Any calls, Allison? Just for me. What is that? I'm just another little pet for you to take care of. Oh, what about food? Don't open that! <laughs> hey, look, why don't we just wait until the snake man's checked it out? It won't feel much like eating after they bounced around like that. Oh, which brings up a rather delicate subject, Thomas. When are you going to bounce it out? Oh, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Oh, Look. Come on. You said just a few days. I know. It'll be just a few. Hi, Alice. I'm going. Hello, no, Doc. Just two weeks at the max. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. I'll talk like that one, Suzanne, come on. I'm coming. Being irresponsible, I know. taking advantage of our friendship. Children, I'm in a hurry. No, hold it, hold it. All right, let's go.
there. As soon as I disconnect this. Now! Right here. Hey, it's hot. Give me some light. Oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? I know what I'm doing. Suzanne? Suzanne? <laughs> I lived in six countries before I was 16. I can speak French, Spanish, and understand Swahili. And you're not the only person who's ever heard of Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> so don't give me that educated crap, doctor. Hey, lighten up. You used to be such a nice person. And you shouldn't say crap. It's not ladylike. Aren't you going to get it? It's an invasion of privacy. This is me going to get it. Would you like some more wine? I'd love some more wine. Speak. Dr. Brazilian, Lieutenant Brody, University Security. He didn't tell you that it was his brother who was killed. There's an encyclopedia he didn't tell me. It's very hard for him. He can't live with the fact that he survived and his brother didn't. He blames himself. Well, now he can blame himself for two more deaths. It's like Jason had to bring this thing here. He keeps saying that he's got no choice. His obsession is growing out of his guilt. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought by now it would be dead. I, I turned up the container temperature when you were out of the laboratory. I intended to kill it today. I'm sorry that it didn't work out that way. with you in a minute. Come on. Can we turn off these lights, please? No use making a spectacle out of this. Look like a goddamn dinosaur or something. Ask him. What was that thing, Dr. Bazzini? What was that you brought in here today? Calm down, Eddie. Don't tell me to calm down. The way it jumped out at her and it went right for Dr. Rothman. Oh. Oh. Where's the other one? 
Never seen anything like it in my life. Never. It's this way, sir. There's no idea on him. I understand this animal was just imported here today. That's right. On a university permit. You're in serious trouble, Doctor. The city police are on their way. We're all in serious trouble, I think. You shouldn't leave here, Doctor. Oh, don't worry. I'm not dangerous. What kind of snake was that, Doc? The unfriendly kind. What are you doing? I'm going to find it. You can't do that! What the hell else can I do? need warmth. It'll be looking for a warm place. You can't catch that. I'm not gonna catch it. If it's in there, I'm gonna kill it. This is how it could get in. You wait. Are you crazy, too? Look what it did back there. I saw what it did back there. Those wounds weren't made by any snake. What kind of animal is that? What the hell game is Kincaid playing? How to hell with it. What? <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? Tom. Please. Don't go in there. Suzanne! Stick with me, huh? Oh. Oh. 
God, I'm glad it wasn't in here. Yeah, unless it's coiled up someplace. Better look someplace else. Right now, what the hell is that thing? I don't know. Don't give me that shit. What is it? I don't know. I've already told you, Doctor. It's one of a kind. Son of a bitch. You ought to be dead, you bastard. What are you doing, Kincaid? What have you got me into? We've got to handle this alone. The police won't understand, will they? You're full of shit, Kincaid. There are people dead in there. Yes. Yes, I know. You see, that's the way of it. All right. Who's the Brazilian gentleman? I, I am. Your pet still inside? Uh, no, he broke out the back wall. Okay, you guys, check round back. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now? Who the hell are you? I'm Jason Kinkin. And you are going to lose half your men if you let them go in there tonight. I can take care of my men. No, he's right. You should keep everybody inside. Seal off this... this campus. Wait till daylight. You some kind of expert, Mr. Kinkin? You just don't understand what you've got yourself in for, you. Look well, it wasn't my fault, Reverend. It wasn't. It, it, it... it will go very badly for you, Mr. Crowley, if you don't fulfill your commitment. You know we can't allow that. Hey, 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 you, you just wait a minute now. No, I won't. And you don't have a minute. I want you to watch Kincaid's place. I'll expect to hear from you regularly. In the meantime, I'll pray you're successful. Perhaps you should pray too. believe that the island is full of the dead, of, of lost souls on their way to hell. You see, it's a kind of purgatory. They say that every seven years the island is visited by a great serpent, a serpent that rises from hell 
to claim the souls and take them back. And this thing out there at the university, is that a serpent? Yes. Yes, it is. Seven years ago, I, I went to hunt it. And this time, when it reappeared, I, I had it brought to me. The Aboriginal sin. It will never leave you alone. Who else is after this animal? Well, they're serious. Janitor said there were gunshots. Well, the lamp. Gaffin, for you. Captain Novak. You'll excuse me if I'm having a little problem with this. I would have thought that you'd seen everything by now. No, no. Monsters from hell or something new. Uh -oh. Dr. Lee? This is Dr. Brazilia, Jim. Doctor, I'd like you to see the cadavers. It's very interesting. Only five hours after death, for the corpse to be in this condition. Was the putrefaction process underway when you saw him at the scene? Oh, nothing like this. Did you notice the earlier signs of snake bite? Oh, um, the other body? It's exactly the same. Fifteen of our squads, a couple of yellows from animal control, three troops of explorers, guys. I like the odds. Eighty thousand guys and one snake. What's their story? Don't even ask. Well, we'll want to know what you're going to charge them with. Manslaughter, maybe. Manslaughter would seem appropriate. But what I find unqualifiedly incredible is how you, Mr. Kincaid, should support philanthropy, of course. But this is the closest thing to mumbo jumbo in this institution's entire history. Must have been some party. Who beats the library? Sharon is busy tonight. Oh, what's his name? She's in the shower now. Sharon, don't use all the hot water. Sit on it, Allison.
Last Saturday, there were 30,000 people at Riverside Park. Of course, now they're expecting more today. Well, you can't expect people to stay in unless Saturday. You shouldn't have to. Now, what in the hell is that? Oh, no, leave him alone. Want more of this telepathy crap? <laughs> Mr. Kincaid, Dr. Hill's been telling me you're talking to this thing. Talking. No. No, you see, I'm... I'm part of it in some way. You see, I... I see through its eyes. I really believe that I belong to it. Yeah, right. Whatever. So, uh, where's it now? I can't tell you that. Can't or won't? I'm not with it now. Too bad. I'll tell you what you can do. You and the doctor can get together and try and get with it, all right? I'd like to find this thing before somebody else gets killed. And it sure could be any goddamn place now. Get the hang of it. Oh, that's not bad. Here. I'm not going in there this time. Don't be such a big baby. Go on. Brian. Brian? Head on down the road there, about a mile. Put you right there. Won't find many snakes, though. Frogs or toads, maybe. Here. Here. Never saw me. Never saw what? Side Crowley. <laughs> That's what they call me.
Maybe it's venom production. Maybe it's viral replication. Maybe it's a mind thing. Jason's uh, allowing his guilt to make it work. I don't know. It could be a million things. It's so weird. It's not exactly the best way to study it, is it? But I wonder what the right way to study it is. Hey, Kincaid! And Reverend Thatter is pissing on the both of you. <laughs> Damn it, he had it. He couldn't let it go. Boy, is that ever incredible. So now what? We wait. We wait for the next one. What do you mean, the next one? How long can you keep him tranced out like that? As long as it takes. I mean, that thing is out there killing people. That's what we saw just now and there. Yeah, it's killing people. It's killing him, too. He's gone. Jason's gone. Oh, no.
Of course, he knows where it is, and he's going to meet it. Then he'll be killed. Let's watch it again. Jason, what do you see? I see the hunter. Where is it? Where? Moving up. Tell me, Jason, what do you see? Tell me. Moving up the hill. The hill, over the hill. The hunter on the hill, the hunter over the hill. Hunter. It, it's a poem, the end of a poem. Home is a sailor home from the sea, the hunter home. Oh my God.